KX friends, it's grinding time. When it's grinding time, it's time to nothing but grind. There ain't no way about it. Old Dudley Cook would probably have an aneurysm seeing me use power tools on one of his axes. Nevertheless, that is a simply a myth that needs to die. It's 2019 and people got things to do. Okay, it's, so it's not so much that I don't have metal going this way. We have a lot of metal um, to get to here. It's just that as you keep grinding, it gets thicker and thicker and thicker. And then I will have to sharpen this, okay, right at some point and make that all sharp. Okay, that's going to take a lot of metal off these cheeks. And I just, you know, we're trying to stay away from that. Blah, 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 blah. So I made a little template. I'm doing math in my head. I'm trying to figure out what the best way it is to do this. And I think we're going to have to sacrifice a little bit of aesthetic perfectness here on this top toe jammed end. I just cannot get there. But for the overall hope of getting to nearly the kind of grind Cook wants, that's what we're going to go for here. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Meanwhile, the Holtz Brook is practically ready to go. Just some eyeball measurements. So take a little bit off the front and we can get a really nice grind here. It's, it's also a wider bit, uh, much closer to Dudley's drawing. So excited about that. No time at all. I'm already on the bevel. Starting to put uh, the bevel geometry and an edge on the Holtz Brook. But we haven't talked about that yet, so maybe we should back up. So Cook um, advocates some pretty traditional and I would say conservative uh, dimensions uh, for the bevels. He's got data all the way from the edge all the way up to actual the angles at the eye, um, which is unusual. Uh, I'm not sure I've come across anyone with exact measurements on the ideal eye width or mid blade hollow. Super cool. I'll have to check that out at some point. But for the most part, uh, we focus when you're grinding and sharpening on these angles here. Um, what I've heard referred to as the inclusive angle and exclusive angles as well in terms of terminology. So a 30 degree edge angle or inclusive angle is very traditional. It's very traditional. I, I heard that um, recommended in, from lots of sources. Um, and, but it, it, this would be the point where I'd sit down with, I'd love to sit down with Dudley in some main bar, right? Some main dive bar in logger country and say, Dudley, what's up with these angles? Because don't you know that myself and other people, there's other people doing this, you know, we're putting angles almost twice as aggressive as that, right? Call that the danger zone. Yes, danger zone angles, 20 degrees or less, they're killing it. They hold up great. And it, maybe that was one of the reasons, you know, uh, the pros with 30 degrees, it's, it's good enough. It's fine. Uh, it's universal for all kinds of woods. Um, you have no problem with, um, I don't know, you know, hardwood, um, knots, etc. Or And it wears a long time, so you're getting a lot out of your axe. It could have been a lot of reasons people thought that was the way to go. But... I just strongly suspect now that you can do better and go farther, particularly with modern steels and the process that we're using today. I just, I just think that's the case. But we're going to stick to Dudley's recommendation. That'll be great. This will be good science. And we'll try these out against some of my other guillotine axes. All right. We're in really good shape. We hit right on the button. 30. 30. See? 30. Can you see that? 30. And how did we do on the curvature all right there's the inch mark oh really close quarter inch oh yeah that was good that was good and this one here little bit past a little bit like one thirty second more than a quarter inch that's pretty good that's pretty good the main wedge of course is all jacked up but salvageable I've kind of hung it here, you know, plumb, uh, to help me visualize where these angles are going to end up. Because it's not as easy as the Holtzbrook. The Holtzbrook was just ready to go. But because they have this bad toe jam, we're trying to get as little as possible. And we're still trying to avoid all this, you know, metal, metal welded bit stuff. Um, gone for a compromise kind of right there. And it's a thick boy now. 
It's a thick boy now. I don't think I've ever reprofiled so much. That's new for me. So let's see if we can get uh, some good angles out of this. And uh, just so you know, this is all happening real time. This, these axes are not done, and I've done the videos. I'm doing them as we go. So let's hope for the best with this.